guys welcome back to my channel so today I felt like filming a little fun video for you guys and it's also like midnight <laughs> well I wanted to record me doing my 2019 vision board for those who don't know what a vision board is it's basically a little board that you put a bunch of pictures um quotes or whatever that you want to achieve at the end of the year. I compiled a bunch of pictures and stuff that I know that I want to accomplish by the end of 2019, like December 31st, 2019. That's what I want to accomplish, all these things. I just thought it'd be fun to explain like why I want these certain things and how good my editing skills are with these pictures because girl, this Photoshop shit, watch out. So yeah guys, let's just jump right into the video. So for the things you need for your little vision board is literally a white poster. So, so nice. Yeah, right. Um, tape. I got double sided tape from like the dollar store. So, you know. Oh, did I not wake up my child? Um, I have post-its because actually the guy who printed these pictures, oh, the guy who printed out my pictures actually messed up on like three, I believe. So I have to use post-its to kind of like write on it and stick it on the picture. I don't know. Y'all get me? A Sharpie to, I don't know, to write 2019. And then of course you need pictures. And here I believe I have like 21 pictures. 20 pictures. I have 20 pictures. And they're just, you know, fun, fun pictures. I don't know. So the first thing I want to put down on my vision board, like right in the spam middle, is don't let dreams be dreams. Okay, first off, first of all, I got this off of this pop-up stand, picture stand that's over here in Houston. Um, I have quite a bit of pictures of me. I didn't take a good picture with this because there was just too many people, but I really liked the quote and I was like, you know what? That's facts. Don't let your freaking dreams just be dreams, ho. Like, so we're just gonna put that splat in the middle. So I'm thinking of just putting it like right there. Wait, right, right, right there. Yeah, I think. So the next picture I wanted to put down is just a picture of myself, kind of just like. Can y'all even see that? It's just a picture of me like having a good time and laughing because I need to be happy this year. 2018 okay I know I had a son last year best thing that's ever happened to me but besides having him that was the worst fucking year of my life honestly just be proud of who I am and be like stop being insecure cur, stop being insecure about myself and just have a really good time this year because like I said I'm determined to be happy and just look at the bright side of shit just because like I said last year was super shitty and I I need to make up for that lost time so this is me and my son's year so the next two pictures I don't want to say it's cliche but it kind of is just because like everybody makes this their resolution but no seriously I'm not doing like a stupid like I'm gonna work out excessively like that's what I would like to do but for a goal I would like to do is start meal prepping because I did do this when I was pregnant I did it for like a few weeks Maybe not a few weeks, like two weeks before like shit hit the fan. And I actually enjoyed it. I really did like it. I felt a lot better about myself. And then to also go along with it is just have a healthy lifestyle. So not necessarily like getting up at 5 a.m. to go hit the gym or some shit. But just more of like eat healthy, drink a lot of water, like feel good. I'm gonna put that one right there. Along with... Damn. Boom. Okay, this next one is kind of funny. And I don't know why I'm doing this, but I just wanted to really challenge myself. But for 2019, I would really like to not get acrylics this year. Like, it's going to be hard because I love getting my nails done. But I told myself, you know what, bitch? Let your nails grow out for a whole year and see how they look and how you feel at the end of the year. So that's why my nails look all crusty and the nail polish is all fucked up. Okay, this next one is actually pretty hilarious and don't judge, like... Actually, judge me. I don't give a fuck. But 
I want my credit score to go up. So I edited my credit score being like a 600. Yes, I know, I know. My credit score right now is not the best. Your girl was dumb and wasn't building her credit, fucked up her credit before I even knew how credit worked. So my credit is, it's not like bad, bad, but you know, in a year, I'm pretty sure I can reach this, maybe even more. Thing I really have a struggle with and I battle with constantly is just to forgive people. I'd be happy this year. In order to be happy, you have to forgive those who wronged you. And I have quite a bit of people who honestly like messed me over, fucked me up, and I was so angry last year at everybody and at the fucking world. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just forgive them even though they don't deserve it, but I'm gonna do it anyways. One of us have to be the bigger person and it has to be me. So that's something people don't understand and they need to grasp that, that just because I don't speak to you does not mean I don't forgive you. It just means that I forgive you, but stay the fuck away from me. <laughs> you get me? So I just have the little forgive picture and it's just a reminder just to make sure I always forgive. And I know it's not technically a goal, but it's something that I would like to have a better habit with you understand so this next goal is a little crazy because I have such a low credit <laughs> that I don't even know why I think I could get this but even if I can't get it this year I am determined to get it you know at least before I'm 25 because my dream car would be a Range Rover um red part particularly particularly red in particular <laughs> And it's just a car I've always loved. I know my credit scores are pretty low and getting this would be like a miracle, but it's something I would love to get. And if I could get this, then awesome. And if I don't, like I said, I plan on getting it soon. Let's put this bad boy right here. Something you guys don't know about me is um, I'm actually going back to school in less than a month actually i'm so excited and i'm going for something that i was supposed to accomplish two years ago but i never got around to doing it and i was kind of slacking and life just went and took its course and i finally decided i was gonna push myself to do it and it's something i always wanted well not always wanted to do it's something that i realized i wanted to do because it's 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 me it's something i would enjoy doing it's such an adrenaline rush and I just, I can see myself taking this and making it into a bigger career for me. And that is becoming an EMT, um, which is an emergency, uh, emergency medical technician. And for those who need me to break it down even more, it's the ambulance people. Um, no, it's not a paramedic. That is um, something I would like to achieve as well, but you have to start as an EMT. So for a little reminder and a goal, I made myself like a fake ass certificate. Um, it has like my name and it has the year. I am so excited I get to start it this year in less than a month and I graduate within the same year and I get to start my dream career and that's something I could build and do something and, and actually help people and I'm excited. It's like, it's finally happening. We're just gonna put that bad boy right there. I want to be the best mom to my son. Um, I have to play both roles. Um, I have to be the mom and I also have to be, you know, the dad. I mean, that's just how it goes all the time when you grow up, you know, when you're a single parent, you are both roles. And I just know I wanna be the best mom I could be for my son. And even though he's only a few months, um, these few months have changed me as a person and I can only imagine what this year holds for me and him and I just know he motivates me to be the best version of myself. Oh god, I'm getting all emotional. But no, seriously, he is the light of my life and without him, I don't know where I would be. But like I said, he makes me want to be a better person and to do all these things so that he can have a better life. And that he knows that he can do whatever he wants because I did it. And no matter what you go through, you know, we have each other at the end of the day. And that's something I always want to make sure he knows that I have his back at the end of the day. So I have like a little cute picture of him. <laughs> He's a little light skin. <laughs> and look at his little cheeks, guys. 
But yeah, so I just want to put this on my board just to re remind myself, even though I see him every day, it's just even when he's like at my mom's or something that I can look at it and be like, that's my, that's the reason why. Like, that's why I get up in the morning and that's why I'm going to do what I got to do. You know? Put him here. Here. Mm -hmm. here. A big goal for me this year, it has to do with YouTube. Um, I started YouTube last year, I think almost a year ago. I want to say either almost a year ago or, yeah, it's going to be a year ago, either next month or in March, that I started YouTube and I actually put something out. My channel didn't grow, honestly, because I wasn't consistent and I wasn't posting as much as I should have been, but I actually enjoy making videos and I enjoy putting out content and letting you guys in, inside my life and a goal for me would to at least hit 500 subscribers at the end of this year. It's a pretty high number, at least, you know, I only have 36 subscribers right now and to hit 500 would be insane for me, but it's something I would love to accomplish. Even if I don't, anything, you know, anytime I get a subscriber, it's like, holy shit, like someone's actually enjoys my channel and they actually subscribe to me. So even if I don't reach this high ass number, anything, you know, as long as my channel does grow, that it's still a big accomplishment for me. A little thing I'd like to also learn how to do is do my makeup better. I mean, can we just pretend this is my face? <laughs> no, seriously, I would like to work on my makeup this year and, you know, take a little picture of like how I do my makeup now, which I'm not saying my makeup is like completely shitty. Like I'm not horrible at makeup. Like I used to be really into makeup and I actually used to do people's makeup. I just kind of lost the love for it. And I just stopped. I started to get lazy and not even care to do my makeup. And now I'm really into makeup again. And I just want to practice and get better for it. So at the end of this year, I would like to have like $5,000 in my savings account. Because I don't have a bad spending problem. Okay, okay let me not lie. I have a tendency to just buy shit sometimes. I'll be like, oh, I'll be okay, I'll be okay. And then at the end of the month, I'm like, where the fuck did my money go? And it's like, Mitch, because you, you can't stop spending money. So I would really like to have like $5,000 in my savings account. And yes, this is my actual, and yes, this is my actual account, but I just edited the amount of money I have in it. Can y'all even see that? Um, but yeah, that's, that's something I would like to have. A big thing that I lack of or... I just slack in is consistency clearly I really want to try to be a very consistent person this year with my channel with my school um just anything that needs you know attention <laughs> consistency is key but clearly they kind of messed up on the, the C and the I this is something that's going to motivate me and I need to practice on so your girl just needs to be consistent let me see that kind of, kind of like that. Y'all like that? Y'all like that? Ooh. This year, I would really like to take a trip somewhere. Not necessarily, not necessarily a road trip because I've done that. I've rode to Cali back and forth before and that shit's not fun. I don't want to do that. I used to do that when I was younger, like drive back and forth to New Jersey and to Houston. That's not fun to take a trip somewhere. And I do have plans to go to Virginia this year and do something extravagant this year. So that does involve a trip, but it'd be nice to take my son somewhere, even though he won't remember shit, but just take a fucking trip. I talk fucking fast, but I'm also not trying to wake up my baby. <laughs> so for those who don't know, this year on November 1st, I will be turning 23. Ooh, you suck! But yeah, so for my 23rd birthday, I would like to go eat at the Spindle Top restaurant in Houston. For those who don't know what that is, it's basically this cool ass restaurant. Well, it's like a really elegant restaurant, and it's downtown, obviously, and it's at the top of this building, and the building actually like turns. Not like constantly, because I guess that'll make some people sick. I die. But it spins like I think once every hour while you eat and it has such a pretty view of downtown and I've always wanted to eat there.
but I just never have the chance to. It's my birthday, it's always bad, something bad always happens. So I'm like praying and crossing my fingers that this year my birthday goes amazing. And I have some pictures of what the restaurant looks like. Yes, that's how it's look. Yep, yep. And you see that view, guys? Like, that's literally how it looks. It's super nice. Something else. The last, the last major, major, major year that I know I'm going to accomplish this year, because if I don't accomplish anything else other than my EMT class, I am accomplishing this, is finally getting my own apartment. Look at that bad boy. Do y'all see it? So it is a luxury apartment. I actually took the photos from the apartment that I am interested in and I love it. It's a fucking beautiful place and it's in my price range and I just want to, I want to move into it so badly. And yes, yes, I used to live in apartments. I've moved to three different apartments, um, but those were never in my name. Always with the father of my child's name. He paid rent all the time. He was the one who, like I said, he, his name was on the on the lease so it would be awesome to actually get my own apartment with my own name on it just me i mean probably not just me because i credit but you know you know what i'm saying but like to actually just get my own apartment and to be like i pay the bills in this bitch like that's something i would really want to achieve this year and i know i'm gonna achieve it because i i want it and i'm gonna go after it so by the end of this year not even maybe like in the summertime your girls move in and i'm gonna vlog it and i'm gonna record my journey and y'all are just gonna be a part of the fan so this is my board i am so excited and the main key with these vision board is you always want to put it somewhere where you're going to look at it every day so in my case so i'm gonna hang it up right there above my closet under my lights so that i can look at it before i go to bed and look at it before or look at it when I get up and just be have a reminder every single day <laughs> but okay guys that's going to be the end of my video um I hear my baby waking up so I kind of have to wrap it up but I hope you guys enjoyed my video and hopefully it motivates you guys to make your own vision board and to know that these things can happen as long as you put your mind to it and actually put in the work like this ain't no fucking magician shit where you just put the picture on the board and boom it's gonna happen like you actually have to work for this shit and don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell wherever it is so you guys can always be posted on when i post another video but again guys thank you so much